Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Be Your Best. My name is Josh Clark and today we're going to talk about living life on the offense versus the defense. You know, too often we just wait on life to happen to us and then we respond. We're reactive instead of proactive. And here's what I want to challenge us with. You know, why just wait on life to come at us when we can grab life by the horns and we can make the best of every situation? Now, I get that you can say, well, Josh, but you know what? There's so many things that have happened to me this past week, you know, not to mention in my life that I can't control. That's right. But control the controllables. Control what you can. You know, if life gives us lemons, let's make lemonade. If, you know, if because of past decisions we've made or circumstances or things that have happened to us, you know, our income isn't where we want it or our debt is sky high, let's make a decision today to go on the offense to say, you know what? I'm going to do something about that. I'm going to make an extra $500 this month or in the next six months or an extra $1,000 a month or I'm going to save an extra dollar instead of buying that soda, instead of buying that snack. You know what? I'm going to go on the proactive. I'm going to go on the offense and I'm going to set that aside. You know, my wife reminded me that to, before we got married, you know, she saw me doing that instead of, because you know, somebody taught me this, instead of, you know, that dollar that may look like, oh, it's just a dollar, I would sit there while my friends would eat at a fast food joint or while they were buying a soda or while they were buying a snack or a drink or whatever. And I'd say, no, even if I was hungry, even if I was thirsty, I'd say, you know what? No, because you know what? All I can do is control what I can. And here's what I can control. I don't have much money right now. I'm not making much, but I can control how I spend it. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons I love the Dave Ramsey plan. You know, go on the offense. Decide to do something about the situation you're in. You see, too often we subscribe to what I call the Niagara effect. We're just drifting, going along with the current of life, and then all of a sudden we wake up and it's too late. And I'm saying, yo, let's go on the offense now. Let's grab that paddle and decide, you know what? We're going we're gonna to steer, we're going to paddle over this way. Now let me tell you, bad things happen in life. <laughs> let me tell you about this past week. But before I do that, let me tell you about being in the river of life. You know, my, um, my son and I, we were on the uh, Chattahoochee River. We were out fishing. And pretty soon as we're drifting along the river, all of a sudden I realized, whoa, there's uh, some rapids ahead. And I saw this big rock in the middle. And I thought, you know what? I think instead of going this way, we should go that way. Well, you know, I waited a little too late. Okay, have you done that? Maybe you feel like you're in that situation right now in some area of your life. Okay, and it's going to be a risk to change the path you're on. Well, guess what? It was risky. And we tumbled. And we lost our, I lost my fishing rods. I lost my tackle box. I grabbed have my at that time, I think he was five or six year old son, right? And I start, I don't just keep drifting. Oh, well, life sucks. I guess I'll just have to go along for the ride. No, of course you and I wouldn't do that. And I did it. So I start just swimming frantically for the shore, right? I, you deal with what happens, you make the best of it. And you know, you may even find yourself that maybe you've gone down this fork and you went down the wrong fork and you've gone a ways down. Well, don't keep going. Get out of the boat. Even if you've lost your boat, if you're just drifting along, maybe you don't have a boat. Maybe you don't have any paddles. Just start swimming frantically for the shore. And then, yeah, you may have to cross through. It may feel like, you know, it's a it's going to take a little while. You get to get back on the on the path that you should have been on. That's okay. Take control now. You see, here, here's what happens. If you don't go on the offense, if you just play defense, your life's going to get to the end. It's going to be zero. The score is going to be zero. I don't want that for you, and I don't want that for me. You know, I'll tell you about this past week. So now, by the way, before I share this, this is not a big trial. It's not a big challenge compared to things that you all have gone through just this past week. But for me, this was my challenge. You know, I have always been about keeping notes and, and contacts, detailed notes. Um, you know, I have notes on, on, on conversations and contacts going back 10, 15 years. Well, I just lost thousands of them. And I know you're like, Josh, how could you do that? Well, I, I know, but I did. I even lost it out of the cloud. But anyway, and in the midst of all this began because my laptop messed up a couple weeks ago. Uh, the uh, it cra hard drive crashed. I lost a whole bunch of PowerPoints and stuff that I'd spent tons of hours working on. And let me tell you, I, I, and this, you know, just be honest, when things like that happen, I get discouraged. You know, I mean, it was like, man, I kept just kicking myself about the contacts because that was when I set the new laptop up. And I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. You know, if I, you know, if some butts were candies and nuts, it'd be Christmas every day, right? I'm doing if this, but that. And I, I'm just, 
man, I'm like, this is going to take me hours. You don't understand. This is a big, big deal. And I'm like, Apple, what can you do at the Genius Bar? And like, we can't do nothing. So you know what? I, I, I remembered right then. I was like, it's like that moment where you're like, okay, I can either go on the offense or I can just, you know what? I can just hole up and, you know, try to make sure nothing else bad happens, right? And I decide, you know what? I'm going to make the best of the situation. I got some lemons. I'm going to make some lemonade. You may be saying, I got some bad finances. I'm going to make some extra money. You know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to decide to take life by the horns. And uh, recently I was reading um, in the scriptures, Colossians 4.17, and this just really spoke to me. And Paul said in the second to last verse, he said, say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry, or in another translation, to the work which thou hast received of the Lord, that thou fulfill it. See, that doesn't sound like just responding. That doesn't sound like just playing defense. That sounds like Paul saying, hey, take heed of your life. See, I believe that God has given you and me a work. We can sit there and continue to complain and to gripe about really, really bad things that have probably happened to all of us, you know, and bad things are going to happen. Or we can decide, you know what, I'm going to go on the offense. I'm going to take control of the controllables, the things that I can. And by God's grace, my life will not be a zero. In fact, I'm going to be a catalyst and I'm going to change and I'm going to impact the world starting today. And so that's my challenge. Now, I want to ask you to pick three areas right now that that you know that you need to work on, that you need to be proactive instead of reactive on. Maybe it's, maybe it's intentional, you know, quality time. You know, not just time, but quality time with the family. Maybe it's building your business. Maybe it's your finances, whatever it is. Pick up the phone, call your spouse and say, hey, you know what? I'm committed to this, hold me accountable. Call a friend, write it down, put it on your mirror and decide today it's gonna be a new chapter, all right? Now, if this video has encouraged you, I wanna ask you, you take a moment, share it with your friends and family and then I encourage you to subscribe to my podcast at Be Your Best with Josh Clark. You can also visit beacatalyst.com and uh, go Go out there and make it a super, ultra, awesome, fantastic day. Make the best of the circumstances. God bless.